Hi guys, Kirk and family here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. How many of you homeowners have seen this lath before? How many of you know the name of it? Uh, I don't even know the name of it. We call it a redwood resin treated tongue and groove or keyed exterior sheathing. It was uh, come out in the late 1800s, early 1900s to about 1920, 1925. I read online that this one fella uh, started calling it his in 1920, but it's been used a lot sooner than that. Anyway, how do you tie this in? Now, the homeowner said, Kirk, how are you going to do that? And then the contractor said, Kirk, how are you going to do that? And I thought, you know, there's a lot of good examples on these two windows. I've showed this before, but not in such great detail. Because you see right here, we got a humongous hole. And right here, the wood is compromised. I mean, there's a big hole here. Generally, you have a 30-pound felt behind this. Then this board goes on top of that. So the contractor said, well, what do we do here? And I said, man, you got to tear the whole thing off. And he looked at me and says, oh, you're shitting me. I said, I'm just kidding, man. Anyway, I'll show you guys what we do. Uh, these keys, these are keys right here. We like them clean when we can find them clean, but they don't all, we don't always have that luxury. Save for this big hole right here. What we do is we clean out that key. You can blow it, you can do whatever you want. Get it out of there. I'm just going to show you a small section and then we're going to go to another window that I've already done. Okay, we take our two layers and we go up as high as we can. Staple that off. Now we find our key. This key right here is the one I'm going to use because that's the lowest one. We kind of get a feel for it. We take a brand new blade on a sharp utility knife. I just put a new blade in here. If the blade is dull, it It'll be here forever. Okay, now that we've got that done, you see our wood is in a key. It's in the key right there. Do I need to pop staples? Not really, but okay, we've got a hole right here. What am I going to do to that hole? I'm going to put a polyurethane caulking in that hole. So as I caulk this piece here, and this particular caulking, it is um, it's a polyurethane caulking, and it's, it's a real drag if you get it on your hands because unlike the cheaper ones that you can clean up with water, you need denature alcohol or thinner, but you get what you pay for. This stuff will last forever once it's covered. Here, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take a half a tube of this stuff, fill this up, and then I'm gonna paper from here to here and put another bead of caulk in here. I'll show you over here because we're done. Okay guys, I'll show you with an, a window I already did. All right, I just did a spot over there. And now, of course, you have to cover the entire thing. Otherwise, water will go in those little holes. Now, I spent about 15 minutes right here just brushing these keys out with, with this. And the contractor actually got rid of the keys here. Why did he do that? Because he thought, well, if you get rid of the keys, isn't it easier to uh, caulk that? And yes and no. Because, how's it going, buddy? We can do this. What we want to do is seal this tar paper to the wood lath in itself. And again, this caulking I'm using is also a sealant. It uh, adheres everything to uh, whatever you're using. It will adhere bricks to bricks even. That's how strong this stuff is. And where you have the key right here, just put a little bit more. Fill that whole gap up. Fill that gap up just like that. You fill it up. Okay, down here where I cleaned out my key, I just fill that up and what that does is it fuses this paper to this old wood lath and again the old wood lath does have or should have a 30 pound felt behind it. If it doesn't that just means hey, it's deteriorated but we do the best we can with what we have to work with. Lastly I'll point out the tops. You notice Lee don't mess around. He got a Z flashing up there. It's the sides are done. When you get to the very top, there's always a piece of wood. I'm going to just show you this because I can. Uh, all right. So as you take the wood, and our paper is going to cover their paper, it's going to go about right to here. As we go to the top here, now we're looking for a key. So this key up here is the one I'm going to use. My paper is going to go into that key right there. I'm going to tack it down, and I'm going to put another fat bead of polyurethane caulking there. And that will, that's how you lath this stuff here. Anyway, guys, my name is Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plaster, and I get so many of you folks 
sending me pictures of this. Now when you do, I'll just email you this video. You can see how to do it. As usual, we thank you for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one.